What are the songs people in Miami lost their virginity to? The top three songs. Bro, come on, number three has to be Anywhere by 112. Oh. What does that mean to you? It sounds amazing, but for your first time, it's kind of weird. Because when somebody pulls your hair, he says something about pulling your hair softly. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah. A few women have the same reaction I did, which was like, what What are you doing? Am I going to end up like in your trunk later? Like, are you going to kill me? <laughs> What's going on? Am I going to end up on an episode of Dateline? Number number two on the list. <laughs> sure. I'm telling me no. Oh, yeah. hey. hey. You really shouldn't be playing this song in 2018 because, you know, R. Kelly's gross. Um... <laughs> And you start feeling like a little weird, but this is totally like a song for like pushovers, like people who are pushovers in bed. Like number one song, people in Miami lost their virginity to. I think there's no doubt about this. Definitely. Pretty Ricky. I mean, this song blasted in your Honda way back, but now it kind of feels weird when you're blasting it in your minivan with a car full of kids. Like, when this song comes on and my kids are in their car, I die, especially during this part. Bro. See, my face turns, like, beet red. And then I hear this. Mommy, do you know Do you know Pretty Reggie? I'm like, yeah. Those were the top three songs people in Miami lost their virginity to. Good times in the backseat of that Honda.